Okay guys, do you see how the bird cages are kind of leaning in toward the center? Well now, this front corner is bending down. So these cages and this table aren't, aren't going well together. And we have another table, which is good. So we're going to move the birds onto a better table, but even better than that, is see that big thing well that was my main work table when I had my business and when the back part of the garage was my shop I had a some of you who haven't been with me and seen it I had a uh, shop back there that was um, custom built for my business and my main workspace table that was it in the middle of the room and that will make it really, really, really sturdy. Alrighty. Well, Pete's setting everything up so we can move stuff. And I will, I'll keep you posted on how it goes. Talk to you later. Bye. In case anybody's interested, lunch. Tomatoes and American cheese under the broiler and bacon. <laughs> Had to throw something together. We're hungry. It's quarter, 10 after 12. Just thought I'd share, you know. Okay, see you later. The sun came out. Thought I'd better show you what it, how everything looks while the sun's out. Show you all our color because, you know, I haven't shown you enough of it this year. I really do need to get outside and get that harlequin leaf. It's still down there, too. That harlequin leaf. But, yeah, guys. Let's go to the other side if we can get there. We got everything all set up, ready to move bird cages after I'm done with work. Lots of leaves. Lots and lots of leaves. Look at that tree. Leaves are pretty much gone. Oh no, they're not. They're just on the ground. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful blue sky. Beautiful colors. You can see our oak tree and the green behind it. It's very pretty. Our dark, rusty colored oak tree. Pharaoh. And there's our gold oak tree. Gold and green oak tree. There's the rust colored oak tree. I think you can see it. Yeah, you can see a little bit of it. But I couldn't get any closer without getting on Pete's lap. Well, there's the last of my Bugman emails for this year. Well, not for this year, but for this season. Um, I'm done. It's I didn't look at my hair. Sorry. It's 10 after 5, and that's it. Um, for those who don't know, I've been working for the Bugman since 2001. Um, they've been in business since 1985, I believe, and um, uh, they've used various people to answer their phones. And then they needed somebody part-time in 2001, and um, since one of the owners is my sister's husband, or my brother-in-law, Don, um, he suggested me, and I tried it, and I liked it. And the next year they kept me on for full-time, and... They keep hiring me back every year, <laughs> so um, I actually take care of their website as well during the year and, you know, make changes as needed and whatever, and, um, you know, during the off season from September to April, people, uh, you, you know, if they get busy or they have seminar to go to or whatever, then they'll call me to work anywhere from a few hours to a... Uh, 
day or a couple days, whatever. And that's how I got that job. And um, I love it. Uh, obviously, when I moved up here in 2006, the job came with me. Oh, I know what. Just a second. Um, today, uh, Colleen, Miss Cavalero one, did a little uh, tag. Now, usually when I would do a tag, I'd get dressed up and I'd get, you know, whatever. And I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> I'm going to do it really quickly. But it just goes to show how people who are so far opposite can really can become friends on YouTube and really enjoy each other's videos. Um, so I just want to, if you are, I'll put a link to her to this video um, in the description. But if you guys watch that and you watch how I do it, you'll see there are probably no two people more opposite on the planet. <laughs> and um, it's so it's pretty fun. Oh. The favorite fall things tag and for the fall beauty faves, your favorite face product. Um, I don't use anything on my face. <laughs> cheek product. I don't put anything on my cheeks. Favorite eye product, probably be my glasses so I can see. Um, favorite lip product, the only thing I ever use is chapstick in the winter time and my favorite is the fruit flavored ones. I don't like the plain ones. Favorite hair product, I use shampoo. I use that purple shampoo from Sally's Beauty Supply. One bottle lasts me about a year because I only use a little tiny bit. and. Uh, that keeps my gray from being brownish looking uh, and you know I and I use that that's my only hair product I do occasionally have a gel or hairspray when I'm trying to get my hair to lay flat but it's rare my favorite fragrance or candle I don't use candles or wax burners or anything like that don't use them I probably would if I didn't have parrots, but anything that's in the air is, I don't like my parrots breathing, but um, I do have some candles around, but I never light them, but I like to sniff them. I have a vanilla one, and uh, what's that one that begins with a B? It's like a Christmas berry, not Burberry, I don't, I don't remember what it's called, but I have one of those. Um, favorite nail polish. I don't wear any. Usually I wear clear. Once I wore pink, once I wore silver. I enjoyed it while it lasted, but I haven't used it since. Fall fashion faves. Trendy clothing item. I shop at the thrift stores. They never have anything trendy that I have found in my size. Comfy clothing item. Oh, in the fall, I wear sweats all the time at home. Or these thermal shirts or whatever when it gets chilly. Be shoes. Um, I have one pair of shoes for winter. I have a pair of Crocs, I have a pair of sandals, and I have a pair of loafers. Oh, and I have a pair of sneakers. And I have like boots, like waffle stompers we used to call them. Those are my shoes that I wear all winter. Those are all the shoes I own. Oh, and I have my slippers. Fav fall fashion accessory. Favorite accessory. My hat. My hat, I guess. Let's see. Because in the fall, when I decide to let my hair grow long, I wear a hat. So that's probably my favorite accessory. Halloween or Thanksgiving? Definitely Thanksgiving. I don't celebrate Halloween. I ignore Halloween as much as I possibly can. I love Thanksgiving. I love everything about Thanksgiving. Uh, favorite festive food or drink? Eggnog. What's the happiest part about fall for you? That summer is over. What I enjoy the most are the leaves, the colors. Who do I tag? Anybody who wants to do this. Okay, we're in the middle of moving. There's the old table that's going to go out to the curb. Birds are waiting. There's a new table. The tabletop on it. He took a little break and when he's back, we'll move the birds back over there and then I can... Well, all the critters are locked up. I can uh, let some of these babies out and play with them and feed them and do all the usual stuff look at that look at how much space is left there so guess what's coming out all their old toys all their old foot toys and everything are going to go on that table so they'll have that anyway everybody's all back that's what it looks like my newspapers and stuff are kind of way back there you couldn't tell we just vacuumed all that when we had it all pulled out but when i say we of course it always means pete <laughs> okay see you guys bye okay That'll make me just a little nuts. Yeah.
tablecloth is higher on the right side than it is on the left. Ah! It's also a good shelf for where the cat can go to harass the birds. I'm just not into that at all. So, we're going to have to be vigilant. Although, when we go away for a while or when we go to bed at night, the cat gets locked up anyway. Hello! All right, I'm going to go for now. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. God bless. Have a sensational, stupendous, um... I was going to say scandalous, but that's not exactly what I want to say. <laughs> Saturday. Take care. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.